Places to go, things to do, and the people behind some of the great food in Southern Oregon. It's why life is so good. Sometimes a band comes along that breaks through the barrier of ordinary into something truly iconic. It was brothers Aaron and Phil Reed who decided to put together their musical talents and form the band, the Brothers Reed. Hey, old man, what you know? This skin I'm in don't feel my own. That just happened. Um, eight, eight years ago? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we just started playing together at the uh, Artisan's Market in Ashland for fun. And uh, from there, yeah, it's funny how uh, that's kind of the first thing we did. And then from there, we've actually gotten so many gigs and met so many people early on. With a flavor of Americana folk music, they discovered they had a talent for melodious harmonies, complicated guitar licks, and songwriting that touches the heart. And that led to the recording of their first studio album, Sick as Folk. We, were just, we just had a handful of songs each. And the, just the songs that are on the album are just happened to be the songs we wrote at the time. And it all happened to be like probably our most like one of our most cohesive albums as far as like sound goes. Yeah. So it just it just naturally worked out. Yeah. And then we had no expectations. Cause you won't let me go, but you can't let me stay. What they didn't know was how their first album would be received. I think the first review we read was from the um, Rogue Eye Messenger. Josh Gross wrote something and he really liked it. And we're like, cool. People are actually digging what we're doing. And then we just kept going. Now the time is warm, so And kept going they did. They have since released four more studio albums and several music videos, such as Hey Old Man and Nevermind. You know, and that's the kind of stuff that's happened with us, whether it's like seeing the Nevermind video and you're like, man, this is so good and like this has got to go somewhere and like, you know, like it's cool that it does have this effect on people, even if it, it's like doesn't necessarily translate to a lot of success, how other people might see it, you know. Never mind. And just earlier in 2022, they completed their fifth studio album, Wares and Whatnots. Only they believe this album was a little different from the rest. That album is kind of crazy how all, there is like a theme to it, you know, like Wares and Whatnots is really like the theme of the album and all the songs and stuff. And I feel like just from a songwriting perspective, it was pretty polished, you know, for us at least. What set the album apart from the others was the theme. But so much of it, it feels like, is really has like a road theme to it. There's a lot of just journeying on every song, it feels like. It's like a journey, you know, wherever, we're, wherever we might be going on that particular one. When we spend so much time on the road, it's like hard not to be. We don't have to really dig too deep <laughs> to draw from those experiences, because, I mean, it's just like months. So, yeah, so those were the songs, and like you said, there's songs about going on tour, there's songs about coming home from tour, just like going and, and leaving, where's, and then there's a lot of whatnots too. A lot of life stories <laughs> yeah. in there, you know? And touring they did. In 2022 alone, they performed over 240 times and traveled beyond their home in Southern Oregon to places like Nashville, Tennessee, Chicago, Illinois, and just about everywhere in between. But it was Medford, Oregon, where they held their biggest venue. Criterion Theater, yeah, for like our own show. The Criterion Theater in Medford, where there wasn't an empty seat for the release of their album, Where's and Whatnots. But the Criterion was like the, a big venue that we were, it was full, we we're getting all this energy, you know, people are there. So it, that felt the most like, and like most local bands, Aaron and Phil Reed are waiting for that one moment when a song, an album, or a concert opens the doors to making a big. <laughs> Always. The right time and place. We've just been occupying like as much time and space as we can <laughs> with this project in hopes that like maybe somebody will see it. Yeah. 
We're not stressing about it so hard anymore. We've gone through our ups and downs of trying to force things. And, uh, you know, and I think it's a game you got to play somewhat, but then you also have to just find like a, just a balance, and figure it out, you know, so you don't go crazy. Next year, they'll return to the road in the endless venues of concerts across the country with a dream. A dream that the world will discover the Brothers Reed, who are not just an ordinary band, but something truly iconic. In the meantime, it's what they bring to their home in Southern Oregon that makes life here so good.